Hi, and welcome to my minor region top 10 power rankings. I do this every week. Um, I separate the minor region power rankings from the big top 25. The upper tier teams in this power rankings usually make that top 25, but we give the minor region some love on Wednesdays. Um, I will say, although I watch 90 to 100, I mean, 95% of the four major regions, I do not watch any minor regions play. So, how do I form this? Well, it's an algorithm. Um, and then I also use international performance, so MSI results, to determine how regions are ranked and go from there. Um, so, if your, team did, if your region did poorly at MSI this past time around, they got nerfed pretty hard. In my algorithm, um, that's just how it is. Uh, you know, when Vietnam hasn't played for a couple of years, that will do that. Um, so, that's kind of the deal with this because I have a lot of people that are probably new to the channel um, after my video went up on Reddit yesterday. Um, so, let's do this. Uh, 10 through 1, let's hit some notes first. Top TCL team, Nasser, Turkey Esports, you are 12th. Um, Istanbul stunk during MSI and they got hurt by it. Um, Latin America, Astral Esports, you're 13th, uh, the top Latin American team. Um, that's because Team Ace did struggle during MSI. And also, you have to keep in mind, um, unless you are, I mean, I think Nasser's like 8 0 or 9 0, 10 0, or something like that. Um, probably 10 0 now. Um, you know, they probably are going to get on this list before the end of the split, I imagine. But in the case of Astral Esports, I think they're like six and two. So a couple losses. I mean, if you're not dominating a smaller region that's already struggled at international events, it's hard to take you and put you up against, you know, the PCS and things like that and, and think that you will survive. Um, VCS top team, Team Whale, 15th. That is weird. Um, Gambit, not Gambit, damn it. I did that last week. Gam Esports and Saigon Buffalo both have struggled immensely. And honestly, until that gets righted, Vietnam is probably going to be on Struggle Street. I know Vietnam is better than what that indicates, but that's what the stats are telling me. Um, I imagine that by the end of this video, I will have Meander in my comments. Meander is a my, my PCS informant, pretty much. Um, gives me all the ins and outs of the PCS and sometimes VCS, so... Um, you know, if you are a person that watches minor regions, I love hearing some insight. Um, obviously, this is all stats based. It only tells a part of the story, not necessarily what's going on on the rift because I'm, like I said, not watching. So, 10th place, we have Red Cannons. Um, Red Cannons come back on this list. They are 9-3, and three, went 1-1 one and one last week out of CB Low. Um, you know, we love ourselves some Red Cannons. Um, I should probably do this. Sitting at night, sitting at, damn it, man. I don't edit these videos, if you haven't noticed. Um, so, nine and, uh, three, went one and one last week. The star of the week was, was August, going 11, five, and six. in the jungle um he did well during msi at times um a lot of red cannon fans joined my channel during msi so i have a good idea about red cannon specifically um and brazil in um a wider sense uh ninth place team order the msi representatives from the lco are ninth they are second in the lco they are i believe 10 and 5 now Yep, 10 and 5. They went 2 and 0 last week. Um, and they have a new AD carry, I believe. This is not Puma name changed. Hoopa. Hoopa. Uh, 11, 1, and 7. So, AD carry did very well this past week. Really, um, Bio Panther did as well. Um, Bio Panther went like 3, 2, and like 24. I mean, 22 or something. Um, he played Zach in a game, uh, Zach Top. We saw that a couple times this split. Um, kind of came into the meta and out of the meta very quickly. So, still fringe pick in Australia. 
Um, next, we have our next uh, CB Lull team, Furia Esports, our eighth. Excuse me, they're 10 and 2. There is a lot of um, Brazil influence on this power rankings. I will say it is um, them and the PCS both have three teams. Um, I think that's got a lot to do with how top heavy that region is. But also you have to keep in mind, Red Cannons did very well at MSI. I think they went 3-3 three and three if I recall correctly. Um, Red Burt at support went 8-2-7. and seven. Um, Oftentimes I don't put supports here, but... Sorry, 8, 2, and 17, I believe, not 7. Um, but he had an 8 kill Pike game. So, gotta give a support some love when they get 8 kills, right? I mean, geez louise, even if it is on a Pike. 7th um, place, we got Payne Gaming leading the way in Brazil, 10 and 2. Went 2 and 0. Oh. Wiser, 8, 2 and 0. Oh. In top lane, I believe he played NAR both games, if I um, recall. Looking at the stats wiser what did i say eight two and ten um i think i changed the way i did this video from last week and it's gonna maybe we'll see if it does better maybe um I think it might not. So if you stick to this whole video and you're not bored by the constant pauses and things like that, thank you. Um, sixth place, Sengoku Gaming in Japan. Um, despite being 10-0, I have them second. They've been overtaken. Um, Japan is on a break, so they only played one game last week. Oh, geez, almost knocked down the microphone. That would have been real awkward for everybody. I would have actually had to... Um, an edit um vital led the way in their one win going 7-0 and three if you don't know vital is loaned out from nong shim red force um i mean i'm not i had a in, discussion in the discord this morning um we were talking about the games and and i brought up this situation with vital um i'm bringing this up because if you want to go to the discord we talk about the games when they're going on um and i was like i bet nong shim probably wish they had Vital back, and we started talking about Ghost a bit, but, um, I mean, at this point, why not? I mean, you wish you had that young AD carry to kind of play, right? But then again, he's playing mean meaningful games, high-pressure games in Japan, maybe against lesser competition, but still, um, he is playing games that matter. Fifth, this is going to be the one that's going to get Meander in, um, no, I'm not. I was going to say in a tizzy, but not really. Um, so Frank Esports, I have fifth. This is where you have to keep in mind this is all based on what the algorithm is telling me. Um, they're five and four, went two and one last week. I think they're like fourth or fifth in the PCS, but they're winning in a convincing fashion when they win and they're not losing by a lot so they're close um yskm and top lane went 14 2 and 8 in three games um the pcs obviously is is pretty much widely considered the fifth best region in the world um arguably in some international events they are the fourth this past time around they were not so don't be silly your fifth um but um definitely the best region out of the smaller ones vietnam put up a good fight and i'm assigned hopefully they continue to do it at worlds they did very well um considered the sixth strongest region but frank esports like i said five and four uh, meander said in my who's going to worlds video yesterday that he believed or sorry i keep saying he it's wrong to do that um they put a uh, flying oyster up there and not Frank Esports, but Flying Oyster I do not have in this power rankings. Um, fourth place, we have Detonation Focus Me, the Japanese representatives at MSI, year in and year out. 
Um, they are nine and one. They won this past week. Um, that nation focused me are really good. Continue to be really good. Harp yeah, support went one zero and twenty one on a recon. I mean, I think he had twenty two out of twenty five KP. Very good game out of him as Detonation Focus Me overtakes Sengoku Gaming as the best team in Japan, in my opinion. We're going to get to see if that is true the next time they play each other. See if Detonation Focus Me can um, even up the score here. Third place, um, J Team. J Team, um, in my opinion. J team, I would probably consider a, a real good chance of going to Worlds um, alongside PSG. J team now seven and two, went two and one last week. Um, Lil V at eighty carry went twenty three three and fourteen. Um, it's going to be between J team and PSG all the way to the end, um, at least in my opinion. Like I said, I do have somebody that tells me that uh, Flying Oyster are going to get their noses in there. I believe they are the ones that beat J-Team. Um, so that's a thing. Um, so we'll see um, because PSG beat J-Team. You know, I'm spoiler, G PSG are still on the list. Um, but first, second place, we got Chief Esports Club in the LCO. People are going to say, oh, why do you, I mean, I got new people here, so I got to go over this. They're 34 and 2 now in regular season, in best of ones. Between spring, they went 19 and 2 and then choked during the playoffs, 15 and 0 now. Team's really good. Um, they went 2 and 0. Tally in mid went 11, 4, and 28. I mean,. Order are up here now, and Order are making a run. So can they upset them again in the playoffs, maybe? Or, or get past whomever, whoever upset Chief Esports Club in the playoffs in spring. But, um, I mean, maybe. But Chief Esports Club are really good. Topoon's good. Arthur's good. Tally's good. I can go down the list. Reyes and Adelaric or Alderic. Or I want to say it starts with an A. There's a lot of A's, and there's three A's that ends with an R-I-C. That's the support's name. Um, PSG Talon is first, though. PSG Talon, long time, been the top team in the minor regions. It's been a few years now. They've been popping out talent. Um, you know. They pop out talent that goes to the four major regions all the damn time. Um, right now, they're running with Gory and Burry at um, mid and jungle. Um, I do think they aren't as strong as they were in spring. Um, is that to say that I liked Juhan and, um, oh God, who was in mid? Bay? Uh, not really. Um, but it was still a puzzling move. It's still puzzling to think about. Hanabi in top lane went 9-1 and 19 for them. Um. As Hanabi continues to be the best small region top laner in the world, um, best support in Kai Wing. I mean, PSG are very good. I expect them to go to Worlds um, without a doubt. But, you know, that's kind of the deal with the minor regions. Right now, I believe that it is these three that are in the current top 25 of the algorithm. Um, when it comes to the main algorithm for tomorrow's video, I only use it to kind of get a good idea of who, how many of these teams are good enough to make that list. Um, otherwise, it's a lot of inferences by myself. Um, so, that's that for the minor region top 10 power rankings. Comment down below if you are a fan of one of the minor regions and want to tell me what's going on. Um, I'm more than happy to read it, discuss it. Um, I mean... I love talking about League. That's kind of what my deal is on this channel. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Tomorrow I will have my roundup up as well as those top 25 power rankings. Go to the Discord if you would like and thank you.